Well, I just thought some you might like to, some encouragement to join with us on Wednesdays for <coughs> the Bible study um, on the life of King David. As you know, the morning broadcasts each day, we'd be looking at David's Psalms. And, uh, and then on the Wednesday evening on Zoom, we've been doing a Bible study on the life of David. Um, our good friend in South Wales, Gareth, uh, Gareth Thomas, he um, is a great guy and <laughs> a songwriter, a very talented musician and singer. And, and he has put together a series of poems over the recent weeks during the lockdown. <coughs> and um, one, of them, one of them was on uh, Goliath, David and Goliath. So uh, I just went, I just thought it'd be good if Christelle reads it to us uh, this this morning. Um, I think you'll be you you'll like it, and it's just a little encouragement again to join with us on Wednesday for the Bible study. Okay, thank you, Christelle. Goliath. We all have situations that fill us full of dread. They can be quite unpleasant. Of truth, that must be said. But listen to my story of what happened long ago of David and Goliath, and now I'll tell you more. David was a shepherd boy who watched his father's sheep. His mattress was the desert floor where he could catch his sleep. He was a little warrior, killed a lion and a bear, and God was with him all the time of that he was aware. His father sent him off one day to his brothers in the war. He witnessed big Goliath, the biggest man he saw. He made a challenge every day, stood nine feet off the ground. Send me your great champion, but not one could be found. David went before the king and said, I'll do the deed. I know that God is with me, just the sling and stone I need. The king gave him his armour that David couldn't wear. He said that God was with him against the lion and the bear. So David went down to the brook to choose his five small stones and face the giant Goliath. God's strength was in his bones. The usual threats and insults were flowing fast and free, but David said, today my God will deliver you to me. They met at dawn on the valley floor. Goliath's footsteps shook the ground. He prepared his sling for action that produced a whirring sound. He released the stone with so much force Towards Goliath's head, the stone was guided by God's hand and Goliath fell down dead. There was one thing he had to do, chop off Goliath's head to make complete the victory the way that God had led. The Philistines then ran away in the face of their defeat. They did, not, they did the only thing they could put their army in retreat. We all have our Goliaths. They stand above us tall. They purpose to intimidate and want us all to fall. They take away our hope and faith, give us fear in their place. But now is the time to rise up and rely on God's great grace. The one who calmed the mighty storm will be right by your side. Whatever giants you will fight, he'll be right by your side. You'll fly high as an eagle, will walk, but you won't faint. You'll run and not be weary with the power of a saint. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Gareth. Be blessed.